Some of the legislation passed earlier this year by state lawmakers will require making additions to the Texas Constitution. So voters will ultimately go to the polls later this year to decide whether those will take effect. That's right. In total, people will see 14 proposed constitutional amendments appear on their ballot during the November 7th election. They range in impact from the broadest statewide level to those affecting just certain counties. KXAN's Will Dupree explains everything Texas voters will have a chance to to weigh in on very soon. It seems pretty straightforward. The order an item appears on a ballot could determine how many voters remember to cast their choice or just turn in their ballot unfinished. It's a phenomenon researchers have documented before. Typically, candidates listed at the top of a ballot earn a greater share of the vote than they would receive in other positions. Last year, the Texas Secretary of State's office only had to draw for two items. But what happens when there are 14 constitutional amendments? Uh, HJR 125, as per the election code, um, it's drawn at random. Our randomizer is our hat, and that's pretty simple. The higher the placement on the ballot, the better a guarantee voters see it. So the random draw could potentially determine an amendment's chance at success or going down in defeat. On this year's ballot, the much talked about property tax deal, the same one that led to two special sessions and a potentially $18 billion package. But to hit those numbers, voters still need to approve raising the homestead exemption from $40,000 to $100,000. Voters will also weigh in on teacher pay with new cost of living adjustments. Everything from items with such wide impacts as an energy fund to modernize electric generation facilities to financing water projects to items with much more narrow impacts like the El Paso County Conservation and Reclamation Districts or getting rid of the Galveston County Treasurer. You may not personally have a stake in it, but you do have a vote. The state recognizes because of this process, the Texas Constitution is one of the longest in the nation. Before this regular session, since adoption in 1876, the legislature has proposed 700 amendments to the state constitution. 517 have been adopted. That's a more than 70 percent success rate. So there is a real good chance every one of these amendments will soon join the ever-growing constitutional constellation of the Lone Star State.